A critical step in any exploitation is reconnaissance. Today we're going to learn about Arjun, a tool which can be used to discover weaknesses in web apps, on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Websites use strings of text called HTT parameters to relay information to a server. They can be used to relay a search query, to cl collect data about a user, or to identify a user with elevated privileges. Oftentimes, the HTT parameters that a website will accept are hidden to the user. However, we can use a Python tool called Arjun to identify and exploit these hidden parameters. To get started, all you're going to need is Python 3 installed on your computer and a valid URL you can test Arjun against. If you run into any problems throughout this video, you can always check out the article linked in the description. Let's get started. So before we get started, I thought it would be a good idea to get a quick review on what HTT parameters are. So if you go and do a Google search for dogs, then Google will do its normal thing and return you um, all the search results for this search string. So if you look up here at the URL bar, you'll see our normal thing like our domain, but everything after that is considered our query string. And our query string is made up of key value pairs called HTT parameters. So the first one of these we see is our client. And um, Google has correctly identified that I am performing this Google search on an Ubuntu machine, but I can tell it whatever I want to. So I can say that I'm actually doing a search from a Windows machine. And what it's doing this for is collecting data about what kind of devices its users are performing these searches on. And so this is an example of data collection. And then the next parameter I'm gonna focus on is our Q equals dogs. And this is basically our search query. So this is relaying to the Google server that this user is searching for dogs. But I can just edit it up here and search for cats instead. So now if I send this to the server, it's gonna return, put cats in the search bar, and it unfortunately returned the results of the very, very bad movie cats. So yeah, that's all it is. It's just a string of text and anybody can manip manipulate it and it's just like you're interacting with the website directly. So now let's get started with Arjun. So all you have to do is navigate to the GitHub page, which is linked into the article, and we're gonna have to clone the domain. So you're gonna copy this link and then we're gonna open up a terminal and git clone and paste that GitHub link, wait for a second for it to return. And then if we look, we now have an Arjun folder. Now to get started actually using Arjun, we're gonna have to change directories to Arjun. And now we see we have our Python program that we're actually gonna use to find the hidden HTT parameters. So the first step we're gonna do is to run it, we're gonna use Python 3 and Arjun.py. Next, you're gonna to have to specify the URL you wanna target. So I'm going to be using a um, metasploitable fake website basically I'm hosting on my computer, which is has many susceptibilities. So we're going to do, because it's hosted on my local computer, it's going to look like an IP address. So it's going to be 192.168.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
some websites might become suspicious and block all the trafficking. So you can put a rate limiter on how many requests you're sending to the website. You go up to this previous command and write tac tac stable. So if you ever run into a website that is um, blocking all of these requests, always add this argument. Just note that our drone is going to take a lot longer to refine the results just because it's inputting less requests to that website. And so we're not going to wait all this time for it to go because we already found that it found these parameters without having to add that stable parameter. And there you go. That's all you need to know to get started using Arjun. As we just saw, Arjun can test 25,000 different parameters in under a minute. The process it uses to do this is actually pretty clever. I'd recommend checking out the GitHub page to learn more about it. Remember, if you run into any problems, you can check out the article link in the description. And if you have any ideas for a future episode, you can hit me up on Twitter at Nick Godshell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.